you like some tea? Then sure. we can sit and talk. Yes, tea would be good. How are you feeling? Better, I think. Something strange happened last Saturday. Something that I have to tell someone about. Someone I can trust. What happened? Well, I woke up Saturday morning, uh, very early, to the sound of James pulling out of the driveway. Where is he going? The men's group at church. Oh, of course. Go on. Well, I was coming down the hallway to start the tea when I felt someone looking at me. I turned to the stairwell and I saw Stacy. She was uh, running up the stairs to her room like she had a million times before. Well, my heart froze. I, I knew it couldn't be her. Uh, I know how your heart and your mind can play tricks on you, but I had to be sure. So I started up the stairwell and I could smell her. She had a, a clean, fresh scent like a, a summer morning rain. Well, when I got up to her room, the door was open a couple of inches. I was sure that it had been closed when I came down just a few minutes before. So I pushed open the door.
say anything. Maybe there's something you can do. Maybe. You know, I don't think you're crazy. I think you've opened yourself up enough so that God could help you. I think miracles happen all the time, every day. And maybe we just don't recognize them as miracles. You know, I never did give up on praying. Sometimes I just prayed for asking what it was that I should be praying for. And you're right. Um, I had been praying out of self -care. You know, we all come up short at times. If we didn't, we wouldn't need God or forgiveness, now would we? I guess not. I do believe that, that God let Stacy lead me to the answers in her room. The answers that would lessen my pain and, and maybe help me by showing me how to help Andrew. Closest thing I've seen to a miracle. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. That's all right. I was just leaving. You remember my dad, Stan? Oh, of course. How you doing? Well, about as good as can be expected at my age. I know how you feel. Well, I gotta go. I'll see you guys at church. We'll be there. Okay. See you guys. Hey, guys. I'll see ya. Bye. Hi, I guess. Goodbye. That was quick. I thought you were at the men's group. That's every other Saturday. We were at the ball field playing catch, and I thought, actually, we thought that we ought to be playing catch. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. It's Stacy's. I can't. Don't you think she would want you to? Yes. <laughs> yes, she would. You coming, Grandpa? No, you kids go ahead. Oh, come on, Dad. Oh, you kids go ahead. I've got something to do. Stan, what's so important? I've got an appointment with some aliens, and they're going down. <laughs> <laughs> you created a monster, you know. I wish that dude would come. It's been so long since I've since I seen his old sad face. It's hard to believe it's been five months since we went to college. Though, it's better being a freshman in college than a freshman in high school. <laughs> yeah, my face looked like a strawberry sundae. And Ms. Olsen accused me of being anorexic. You? Can we talk about Miss Chubby over here? I have hid all of my pictures from freshman year. I never thought you were chubby. That's because you knew me. Poor Andrew. He, it took him till the end of sophomore year till he got as tall as any of the girls. It's true. Well, I remember freshman year we were doing dance and he barely came up to my chest. He had no place to put his head. Yeah, and Stacy and her crusades. What was it back then? It was like, save the clowns or something. She always had a mission and in your face about it. Here he comes. I hope he's glad to see us. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Waiting for you, of course. Good to see you, too. Your mom said you were researching a paper at the library. Did you come in a few minutes? Yeah, I guess Midwest Ivory League College Carlton doesn't believe in spring break. Not really. I have a major term paper due on Richard III the week I get back. Professors sure know how to ruin spring break. I'm into that. So how's college going? Okay, I guess. Harder than I thought. A lot more homework, too. But I did make the dean's list. Of course you did. You were always the smart one. The only list I made was for unpaid parking tickets. <laughs> <laughs> what a crack that they got going. My fines are brighter than my tuition. What are you three up to? Oh, you remember at the hospital? I saw Ariane. What? The one with the blue hair? I remember her. Yeah, she volunteered at the hospital every weekend. Pretty impressive, huh? You never would have thought. How'd you find that out? She's in my world government class. I, I didn't hardly recognize her. No blue hair. 
What color is it now? Black. Natural black. <laughs> We've talked a few times. We've gone out a few times. It's nice. That's great. My grades have gone up too since we've met. We've met. So she's good for you then? I guess. We came to see if you wanted to hang out or go to a movie for dinner. Thanks, but I don't feel like it. I see you haven't been reading my emails. Me and Sam are no longer a couple. What? Yeah, we decided to do what we do best together, be friends. And it would be nice if I had someone to walk with. I don't know. Hey, come on, like the old times. The dynamic duo rides again. We're gonna see Stacy. Together. It's time. What? Yes, Sam and I have tried to make it ever since ever whenever we're home. We call Alex since you're never home. This is the first time we could ever invite you. Yeah, I talk to her all the time. Tell her whatever I know about you and Chris and Alex and ask her for help on any problems I have. Come on, it'll be the four of us. You're the ones bringing the lilies of the valley. I thought it was her mom, but that didn't make sense because she didn't know. She didn't know about the night we put her put it in her hair for prom. She looked so beautiful. Yeah, it was it was actually me at Roman Flowers. I remember we danced that night. And she I was teasing her how she was turning into a hippie. And she laughed and said you would never let that happen. I forgot that. She could get us laughing. Oh, she could get me to pee my pants from laughter. <laughs> you do that often? Not like I used to, wise guy. She still does. So, you come with us? <laughs> I guess I haven't visited Stacy in a while. Sure, I'll come with. Then we go to Barclays for Italian. I hate dieting, and at least with you guys, I can get pig out and not feel bad. Garlic bread. Lots of garlic bread. Then a movie. Anything but a chick flick. <laughs> <clears throat> so how did you say you were doing at school? Dean's wish, did you say? Looking back, we were all laughing. What's wrong with you three? I said that we were all... Laughing. Excuse me. Um, sorry to interrupt. Can I talk to you for a moment, Andrew? Sure, I guess. I was going through some of Stacy's things. And... I found hundreds of photos. So I thought maybe I should put together an album that you would like to have. I'm so sorry. 